Zoom cricket editor. I'm your host Charu Parikh and today we have a very special guest, a former South African cricketer Robert Fralink with us. So first of all, Robert, welcome to Cricket Editor. Thank you very much. So you have been in India. How much do you like being here? You have played cricket here. So playing cricket, how's the experience? Um, yeah, enjoy India. I've uh, been here a few times fortunately. Um, I was based in Delhi actually with okay. uh, Delhi Daredevils back in 2010 I think it was. Um, so yeah, enjoying being back. Okay, so GPCL has started, you're leading the side. How much is your team prepared? Um, yeah, look, I think the team was, was put together um, probably a month ago or so. Um, but yeah, we've got, got decent, decent cricketers in our team and yeah, it was a good start yesterday. Okay, so in GPCL you have many young cricketers. So how does the GPCL help those cricketers to shape their career? Um, I think it's it's good experience for the for the younger cricketers. Um, a lot of players haven't experienced sort of tournament vibe yeah. cricket. Um, even yesterday we had a good crowd at the stadium. Um, so it's exciting for, for the younger players who, who have never seen that before. Mm. Um, and it's something they can aspire to, to, to get to and, and obviously the bigger leagues. Mm. So you're the captain, you have many younger cricketers. So as a senior player, what piece of advice do you give to them? Um, just to keep it simple, really. Um, you know, when you're in the limelight like that, you, a lot of the times you panic and, and you yeah. feel like you're under pressure um, and you, you forget to just do the basics. Um, so, you know, my, my role is just to try to keep everybody calm and relaxed and make sure they're enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, you, you, you generally give, off, give your best. Um, and that's all we can ask for is just, just enjoy it. Okay, so India is celebrating its 75 years of independence and that's why we are having this GPCL. So within 75 years, you have played a lot of cricket, yeah, right, for South Africa also. So in 75 years, how much do you think Indian cricket has evolved? Oh, definitely a hell of a lot. I mean, you just look at the cricket match last night. Um, yeah. They're definitely one of the, the best teams in the world. Um, mm -hmm. And they're setting the trends and I think in, in certain formats. So. You know, Indian cricket is definitely very, very strong and like I said, if not the best in the world. Okay, so just mentioned last night's cricket. You watched that match? I did, yeah. David Miller is a very good yeah, friend of mine. Yeah, he um, So he's a really, really good friend of mine. Okay. Um, it was good to see him get 100, uh, yeah. obviously on the, on the losing but, side yeah. of things. But I think it was a good game of cricket for everyone to watch, I think. 450 runs, if I'm wrong, somewhere there, <laughs> uh, which, is, which is a good advert for the game. So. Yeah, sure. So, in yesterday's match, India created a history. They made a record. They never defeated South Africa and Indian soil before. So, we made a history yesterday. <laughs> so, what's your take on that? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I mean, India are a fantastic team. Mm -hmm. I mean, for South Africa to not have lost the series in 12 years, yeah. I think that's massive. But, um, yeah, fantastic for India. Okay. So, if you talk about South African squad, you have many younger players, you know, don't have much seniors. So, don't you think it impacts the team's performance? Um, not necessarily, not in 2020 cricket. Mm -hmm. 2020 cricket is an exciting brand of cricket. Um, you know, the older guys in 2020 cricket, obviously sometimes they just play mm -hmm. cooped up, whereas the young, exciting players like Tristan Stubbs, yeah. uh, Marco Janssen, guys like that, they're exciting, they're mm -hmm. fresh. I mean, that's what 2020 cricket is all about. So. You know, I'm not too worried about the, the youngsters in the side. Um, obviously, we do need a lot from the likes of the Quintons, uh, KG Rabadas, you know, the more experienced mm -hmm. guys, David Miller. Yeah. Um, and then the youngsters will come through nicely. So, if I talk about South African side, which is your top three, which are your top three players? Um, yeah, it's a tough one. Um, for me, obviously, David. I mean, I've been a mm -hmm. fan of his for a very long time. Oh, um, I'm a fan of KG, KG Rabada, I think, you know, he's, he's spectacular. Um, and for me, I'd probably, probably, I mean, we need Quinton. Quinton, Quinton starts Nicole, off the innings yeah. for us. Um, I mean, you guys have seen a lot of Quinton over here in the RPL. So, you know, we, we need the best out of Quinton. And if he's giving us our best, South Africa's got a chance. Yeah. So, we are having a lot of T20 these days. Our test and ODI is kind of suffering. Don't you think so? Um, yes and no. I mean, obviously... You know, with the schedule and that, the T20 World Cup's like every two years yeah. and, the, and the normal World Cup's only every four years. So, um, yeah, so I think schedules come out based on, on when the World Cups are. Hmm. Um, I'd still like to see a lot more test cricket. Um, I really enjoy test cricket. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, the best format. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the you know, RCC and BCCI, everyone needs to come up with a, 
with an idea where we still keep those games going because I, yeah, I think that's important. I think, yes, exactly. you know, for me, the you know your your best players in the world are really good at Test cricket as well. Exactly. And that's the for me the the stepping stone. I mean, if you play good Test cricket, it means your technique in bowling, your technique in batting, all of that is good. Yeah. Um, and then you can play the twenty twenty stuff. So yeah, so hopefully we see. Yeah, sure. So Test cricket. Most of the senior players prefer playing test. When T20 World Cup, T20 format was introduced, many senior players, they just denied. They, they did not want to play T20. So, yeah, I think it's, it's you know, because... Now things the, are changing. Yeah, it was, it was the unknown, you see. Towards, yeah. It was the unknown. Um, you know, test cricket was the format. Um, and I think now, I think with the amount of 2020 tournaments around there, you see the money the guys are making. So, yeah, sure. you know, a lot of a lot of international cricket is plenty traveling. Yeah. Um, you know, we South Africa traveled to, to India, yeah. England now, uh, before India. And some of the guys, if they played all three formats, they were there for three months. Yeah. Which is a, which is a long yeah. tour. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the guys are opting to go the 2020 route. It's short tournaments. I mean, RPL is even only eight weeks, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where everyone's going, well, less strain on the body, more money. Yeah. That's why they want to go that route. Yeah. yeah, right. So this league culture is increasing day by day. We have many leagues. We have plenty of leagues. So how GPCL is different from another leagues? Um, obviously, for me, the, the GPCL is, is is not a professional league to yeah. to an extent. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot, a lot of young up and coming players. Um, a lot of, like you said earlier, a lot of players that aren't exposed to all these big leagues. Um, so I think it's great. I think it's a it's a good stepping stone for for the bigger leagues mm. out there. So I think it's good. So if you talk about T20 cricket, South Africa and India are in the same pool. So who do you think will be will perform much better in this T20 World Cup? Oh, 2020 is a funny game, so it's hard okay. to say. I mean, it's we'll you take you take one or two players to do well in a game, and it happens. Let's hope South Africa and India go through to the next round. How's okay, that? so your <laughs> two favorites are India and South Africa. I'm happy with that. Yes. Okay. So you are much friendlier and familiar with India. So what have you learned? Have you learned anything special about India apart from cricket? Just leave it. Um, no, I've played a bit of golf. I mean, when I was here, I played a couple of rounds of golf. Um, I just enjoy the culture, enjoy the people, um, very friendly people. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Have you learned some Hindi? No, no? I can't say that. Not I even have. a word. No, no, no. no. TK, TK. TK. That's, a, that's about <laughs> so it. So what does it mean? What does TK that mean? That means all good, isn't it? Okay, that, yeah? okay. I hope. So <laughs> Otherwise, don't everyone's going to laugh at me. So don't you understand Namaste? Mm, not really. Yeah. It's the first word every you know foreign, yeah. foreign, foreign person learns. So okay. Namaste means like this greeting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are you a foodie? Um, I've tried. I've tried a lot of the, the local foods. Um, okay. It's been good. Nothing wrong. Oh, not too bad. Have you tried not local too Indian food? No, not too no? much. No. You're not mm. so fond of. Yeah, uh, I am fond of it. Obviously. Uh, a bit scared. I don't want to, you know, you're oh. playing in a tournament, you don't want to get sick okay. or get ill. You're a fitness or, freak. <laughs> so not necessarily, no, but I mean, you're, you're playing in tournaments like this and you yeah. eat something that doesn't agree with you. <laughs> you could be out for a few days yeah, and missing sure. matches and stuff like that. So you've got to be safe. <laughs> yeah, sure. So fitness, if we talk about fitness, how do you keep your fitness? Going? No, well, I've, I've retired from cricket now. So yeah. um, I'm coaching now. So there's not much fitness going on at the moment. Okay. Um, but just, yeah, you know, play squash, uh, play football, and um, just to keep moving, yeah. But uh, for the younger lot, fitness plays a key role, of course. you If you're not fit, you're not fit in the team. So well, definitely. I mean, you look at Virat Kohli as a yeah, number one example. I mean, he was, um, if you looked at him when he came on, on the scene as to what he is now, mm. he's a super athlete now, yeah. and, and his numbers and records show that. So, you know, it's definitely important. Um, so, yeah. Players are playing a lot of cricket and having a lot of injuries. So is there any way to prevent injuries? No? No, not really. Um, you know, obviously the fitness cup plays a role. Yeah. Um, the fitter you are, I'm not going to say it's, you're not going to get injured because cricket is a, is a different game, especially bowling. Bowling is a completely different action for your body. Um, so yeah, you can pick up freak accidents. You can. It's part of any sport, really. Injuries are a part of any sport. So. Okay. So if you talk about Indian cricket, who are your favorite Indian cricketers? 
Um, I'm a big fan fan of Ravinda Jadeja. Ravinda Jadeja. Yeah, I think he's fantastic he's cricketer. A star all round. Um, obviously, I'm a I enjoy Bumrah. He's, the free Bumrah. Is, and obviously, Scar at the moment is is the flavour of the week. I mean, he's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I mean that's I mean MS Dhoni obviously yeah, is he's, he's, a he's, he's a legend. <laughs> he's so. a legend. Um, and I got him out, so I'm happy with that. So. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, apart from cricket, what else do you like to do when you're not um, playing cricket? I don't have cricket. too much time to do much. I've got two young daughters, so they oh, keep okay. me very busy. Um, but yeah, I'll play some golf and just just spend time with friends and family. So, if you're away from your family, how do you manage the things? Just have to phone. You phone every morning and every <laughs> evening, and you know we're fortunate now with video calls and stuff like that. So. Oh. You phone every morning and every evening and, and chat to them and yeah. Okay. So. so if I talk about your cricket career, you have you have a great career, you have a glorious career. So I just want you to share some some of your favorite cricketing memories. Um, yeah, obviously you're representing your country is a is, a, is a, a massive thing. Feeling. Everyone aspires to represent your country. Um, and then obviously we played Champions League here in in, in, in India. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, like I said, you know, you're getting guys like uh, MS Dhoni out. I mm. uh, got him out first ball, which is massive. <laughs> yeah. The crowd didn't like me too much, but it was it was unbelievable. <laughs> so, you know, just obviously with with cricket and sports is is travelling and, and meeting a whole lot of new people and different mm. people. So, you know, that's where sport is is unbelievable. I mean, I've travelled the world playing playing cricket, mm -hmm. meeting different people, experiencing different cultures. Um, yeah, that's that's for me. Important. So, in your bowling career, which batsman troubled you the most? Uh, well, it's hard to say, really. Um, None? No, not really. No. <laughs> okay. no one that stands out. No. <laughs> okay, okay. So we often see bowlers, if they take a wicket, they celebrate in different ways. Some dance on the field, some start doing some stunts or different things. So have you done anything like that? <laughs> yeah, I think everyone does something. I think in the heat of the moment, um, you know, adrenaline takes over and, and you do your things. I'm not like Shamsi who phones on his on his shoe or anything like that. Okay. But um, yeah, just just the normal stuff. Nothing okay. too extravagant. <laughs> okay. So we have different leagues now. We have IPL and we have in this GPCL. Earlier we didn't have these leagues and we used to see much sledging. Just sledging. People, uh, players were sledging each other every then and now. But due to these leagues, GPCL kind of leagues, the sledging thing has decreased up to some extent. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, you know, it was big rivalries amongst yeah. that, whereas now the players are all playing with each other in these leagues and stuff. So it's not as much rivalry. Obviously, you're still playing country against country, but, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's friends now. So everyone knows everybody, everyone gets along with anybody and they play in the same teams. So, okay. yeah, I don't think there's all that much sledging anymore. I think yeah. that was a was an old thing, really. Okay. So, uh, if we talk about GPCL, what's your biggest takeaway will be from this series? Um, yeah, it's still early in the tournament, but um, for me, it's just, again, the experience to see some of my youngsters in the team, the enjoyment factor they're having in this tournament, um, experiencing a lot of them haven't been to India. So, you know, seeing them enjoying the experiences here and um, helping where I can help out. Um, yeah, that's for me the importance. So Robert, you're a cricketer and of course you love your profession. But if you were not a cricketer, what profession would you have picked? Probably golf. Golf? Yeah, okay. I enjoy my golf. <laughs> so are you on social media? Yeah, I am, yeah. I don't use it much though. I don't, I must, I don't use a lot of social media. You're a private person. Right? Yeah, I don't put too much. So have you seen people commenting on your post, some negative comments? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, you know, social media is quite tough. Yeah. Um, so you have a bad game or whatever it is, the, the yeah, crowd goes, you know, the social media it. takes you down. So, mm -hmm. But, you know, the key is just to stay off it and don't read all the so comments and all of that. So this is your way of avoiding all the criticism. Yeah, so just, it is, you know, up to some extent, it gets to players' heads. If you're a youngster, you've just started your career, it is difficult for them at times. So what advice will you give to the younger lot? Stay off it. Stay away from social media. <laughs> stay away from social media. Don't read comments, don't read all of that. The people general, uh, general, the the people that are generally commenting hmm. are people that don't play sport and they exactly. sit and they sit on the couch and watch the TV, yeah. so they don't really know what's going on. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, that's I mean that's for me that's where where a lot of youngsters need training hmm. and how to deal with social media. Yeah. Um, because yeah, social media can be brutal. You know, 
the Champions League here in 2014. I think I got hit for two sixes in the last two balls. Mm -hmm. And I got death threats. I got everything. So it can be quite brutal. Um, but you just got to learn to stay away from it. That's okay. all. So if you have a great match, how do you celebrate it? Um, just with the team, you know, just with the team, enjoy it with the team, enjoy the moment. Um, for me, it's, you know, your, your success is only as good as what the team does. So if the team wins, then it's awesome. Then you enjoy it. Uh, if the team doesn't win, then I'm not too worried about personal stuff. So. Okay. so recently we have seen many international players, they are celebrating on Instagram, making reels on, you know, famous trending songs. Yeah. Have you ever tried that? No. No? <laughs> no, I told yeah, you, I'm so not, fun, fun not, not very big on social media. So no. Okay, <laughs> so one last question. You have many fans, international fans. What message would you like to give to your fans? Just enjoy the enjoy the tournament. I think um, it's an exciting tournament. Mm -hmm. um, enjoy the cricket. There's a lot of people from different countries. Um, obviously, it's part of the NRI festival, so it's good, it's good to see to, to see all people with uh, Indian heritage coming back to India and playing cricket here. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the tournament. Okay, one piece of advice for the younger cricketer who are just beginning their career? Keep it simple. Just uh, make sure you do your basics and you, you, you work hard and enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, you, you shouldn't be doing it. So yes, just enjoy course. it. So keeping simple is the mantra. So, okay, thank you so much Robert for talking to us. It was thank a you great very much. time. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me.